A milk vendor has 64 liters of pure milk and he mixed 16 liters of water in it. He sold some quantity of mixture at 20% profit. He again mixed water by same quantity what he has sold. Now the quantity of milk and water is same. He sold the resultant mixture at the cost price. Find overall profit percentage. Find the overall profit percentage. Right. So very typical case here where a milk vendor has got 64 liters of pure milk. Right. And he has mixed 16 liters of water in it. So he's got 64 liters of pure milk and he has added 16 liters of water. So basically 64 plus 16, 80 liters of mixture. Right. 80 liters, liters of mixture. He sold some quantity of this mixture. We don't know how much quantity, but some quantity of this mixture at 20% profit. At 20% profit. Right. He again mixed water by the same quantity, whatever was sold. I mean, this statement is not really giving the meaning that it has to. But yeah, the idea is that he again mixed water by same quantity what he has sold. So whatever he has sold, right, the same quantity of water has been added back. Now the quantity of milk and water is same. After adding that water, the quantity of milk and water becomes same. See, earlier the quantity of milk and water was different. 64 liters milk and 16 liters of water. We have sold some part of it, then added the same part of water, and then milk and water becomes equal. Right? So then quantity of milk and water is same. It becomes equal. Now he sold the resultant mixture. Whatever is the resultant mixture, after adding water for the second time, the resultant mixture was sold at cost price. The resultant mixture was sold at cost price. Find the overall profit percentage. Find the overall profit percentage. So I think we'll do it in a step-by-step -step process to understand the whole game here, right? But I'm sure having done it once or, you know, if, if you cut down the number of steps and do a lot of uh, calculations mentally, you'll save a lot of time. So don't go by the length of the explanation because I want to give you a detailed explanation about the whole process here. So 64 liters of milk, right? 64 liters of milk plus 16 liter of water which is like 80 liters of the mixture 8 liters of mixture of milk and water right this is what he has got in in the first bucket he has sold some quantity of mixture at 20 percent profit now what mixture has been sold what quantity has been sold is not known to us we will not worry about the profit calculation immediately first of all let us find out what is this sum quantity what is this sum equal to because that's very important unless we know how much quantity of the mixture has been sold we will not be able to do the overall profit calculation right we should know how much has been sold at 20 percent profit so find out how much quantity has been sold how do we do that he says after selling that quantity same quantity of water was mixed again again it was mixed by the same quantity of water whatever he had sold and now the quantity of milk and water is same now the quantity of milk and water is same so the point to be noted here is see how do we get that quantity we know that the milk to water ratio initially is 4 is to 1 4 is to 1 yes or no 64 liters of milk 16 liters of water so this is 16 into 4 this is 16 into 1 so basically the ratio is 4 is to 1 let us assume that x liters has been sold x liters is sold x liters is sold x liters is sold what happens after selling x liters of mixture x liter of water is added back after selling x liters of the mixture x liter of water is added back yeah after adding water the quantity of milk and water has become equal so in the second case, we know that M dash is equal to W dash. Initially, we had only M and W, I mean milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1. The quantities are 64 and 16. X liters of this was removed. Removed meaning it was sold. So it is like removal, right? X liters was removed. And then X liters of water was added back. After doing that, whatever is the quantity of milk and water in the mixture is equal. So let's, let's you know, play with this equation to find out what is X. Now understand, how much was milk? 64 liters initially. From which, how much milk has been removed? See, total X liter has been removed. X liter is sold. In this X liter, how much is milk? The milk that gets sold is 4 by 5 times of X. And the water that gets sold is X by 5 times. Or 1 by 5 times of X. Because ratio is 4 is to 1, right? This is a very fundamental concept. We know that from a given mixture, whenever you remove some quantity, the quantity removed also will have milk and water in the same ratio, 4 is to 1. So basically, I am dividing X liters into two parts. 4 is to 1. Right? Those are the two parts. So 4 by 5 parts. Total milk that has got sold is 4 parts out of 5 parts of X. Total water that has got sold is 1 part out of 5 parts of X. So 4 by 5 of this X is milk and 1 by 5 of this X is water. So what will the remaining milk with us? 64 liters was available from which we have removed 4 by 5 of X. 64 liter was removed. 64 liter was there originally from which we have removed 4 by 5 of X. Have we added any milk? No, we have not added any milk. Milk remains whatever is left out. Yeah. 
This should be equal to water. How much is water? See, initially the quantity of water was 16 liters. The quantity of water initially was 64, from which you have subtracted 4 by 5 of x. The quantity of water initially 16, from which you will subtract x by 5. And we will add x. Remember, don't forget to remove uh, water and then add the quantity of x. Because he says again, he again mixed water by the same quantity. So whatever quantity was removed, right? x liter was removed, sold or removed. The same quantity of water that was added back. Now there is only one equation with x. Can you not solve it and uh, find out the value of x here? Yes or no? So solve for x. First of all, solve for x. Now, now try and do this calculation quickly. 64 minus 16 is 48. Uh, minus 4 by 5 comes this side, becomes plus 4 by 5. So 4 by 5 x minus 1 by 5 x is 3 by 5 x. 3 by 5 x plus x is 8 x by 5. 8 x by 5 equals to 48. So x 8 goes 6 times, right? X, uh, 6 times. 6 into 5, 30. So x comes out to be 30 in my view. I mean, I'm, I've done that calculation mentally. I'm sure you can also do that. Otherwise, just solve it step by step. X is equal to 30. You understand? 64 minus 16 is 48. 4 by 5 minus 1 by 5 is 3 by 5. 3 by 5 plus 1 is 8 by 5. 8 by 5 is equal to 48. So 1 will be equal to what? 48 into 5 by 8, which is 30. So 30 liter was sold. Out of this 80 liters, 30 liter was sold. And then 30 liter of uh, water was added back. Yeah? If you want, you can verify. If you want, whether this is really working or not, you can verify. If 30 liter was sold, can you tell me how much was milk? In this 30 liters, milk was what? 4 by 5 parts of 30, which is uh, 24. And how much was water? 1 by 5 parts of 30, which is 6. So see, from the initial quantity of 64 liters of milk, subtract 24. 64 minus 24, 40. 16 minus 6, 10. You are able to follow. After the 30 liters is sold, how much of milk and water are left out? 64 minus 24. 64 minus 24 is 40. And then how much of water is left out? 16 minus 6, which is 10. And then after adding 30 liters, see, whatever x was removed, the same x of water was added. So to this 10 liters, we will add 30. So 30 plus 10 is 40. So this is 40, water is 40, milk also is 40. You are able to follow. I mean, this is just the calculation that we have done. So basically, milk and water will become equal after you have added 30 liters of water there. Now let's worry about the profit percentage calculation. You are able to follow. What we have understood so far is how the... Quantities are getting added and removed, right? How much of milk, how much of water, etc. Now let's worry about the overall profit calculation. How do you do that? See, you know that milk is uh, milk will cost some value. Water is usually free. I mean, in such cases, you have to consider the cost of water to be zero. Yeah. Let us assume that the cost of I mean, let's say the cost of uh, milk is 100 rupees a liter. Or we can also start with the cost of... Okay, let me just think about this. Should we take the cost of milk or should we take the cost of mixture? Can I say the cost of mixture is 100 rupees a liter? No. Let's assume that the cost of milk. The cost of milk is equal to rupees 100 per liter now understand the cost of milk is 100 rupees per liter which implies what is the cost of mixture the cost of mixture the cost of mixture will be uh, see mixture water is free of cost i mean the the idea is water is free i mean that's how uh, these uh, uh, milk vendors make profit right water is free it doesn't cost us anything so initial 16 liters does not cost us anything and after that when you add these 30 liters also right it doesn't cost us anything right our cost is only because of the milk so what will be the cost of this 80 liters of mixture see this 80 liters of mixture has got 64 liters of uh, milk right so cost of mixture should be 100 into 64 because we are using 64 liters of milk in this mixture 64 liters of milk is available so the total cost this milk vendor which has spent the total cost that the milk vendor has spent is 100 into 64 which is 6400 rupees that's the total cost 6400 yes or no he has not spent anything on 16 liters of water. He has not spent anything on this 30 liters of water also, which he adds back. Yeah. So this is our total cost price. Let us now find out the total selling price. You know the total cost price, total selling price. You can find out the overall profit percentage. Now, how do you find out the total cost price? First of all, he sold some quantity. The sum has come out to be 30. You already calculated, right? The sum has come out to be 30. He has sold 30 liters of the mixture at 20% profit. He sold 30 liters of mixture at 20% profit. See. So there, there are two parts to this selling, right? So let's assume selling price of part one. What is the selling price of part one? 
he has sold 30 liters 30 liters of the mixture at what price at a profit of 20 percentage see when the profit is 20 percentage selling price will be how much see cost price for 1 liter is 100 rupees cost price for 1 liter is 100 rupees mm -mm. no I think he sold the 20% of quantity at 20% profit. Sorry, 30 liters of the mixture at 20% profit. <laughs> yeah, I think there's one more step intermediate. The cost price per liter. Cost price of the mixture per liter. How much is the cost price per liter? See, 6,400 is the cost price for 80 liters. So I think we can directly assume 100 rupees per liter also. That also would make sense. Water is free anyway. Anyway, now that I've done this, let me just complete it. I'll try and explain it in a smart way also after this. So the cost price of the mixture, see, it comes out to be 6,400. For how many liters? For 80 liters. See, what is the total quantity that he can sell? He can sell 80 liters. So what is the cost price of the mixture per liter? 6,400 by 80, which is equal to rupees 80 per liter. Yeah, the cost price of the mixture is rupees 80 per liter. Are you able to follow? I'm assuming that the milk is costing us 100 rupees per liter. Based on that, the total quantity of milk is 64. So total cost price of the mixture will be 6,400. But the cost price of the per liter quantity of mixture will be 80 rupees. 6,400 upon 80, which is 80 rupees per liter. Now, now let us calculate the selling price. I know this looks a little time consuming, but you got to understand the whole thing in detail first. Then you can cut down on the number of steps. So I, like I said, selling happens in two parts. In the first part, what happens? We have sold 30 liters of quantity into, at what price? 20 percentage profit. See, the price of per liter is 80 rupees. If the profit is 20 percentage, meaning price will be how much? 80 plus 20 percentage of 80. 80 plus 20 percentage of 80. 20 percent of 80 is 16. So 80 plus 16 is 96. You are able to follow. I am taking 96 directly. Or you can take 80 into 1.2 also. So that you don't get confused. Right? 30 liters. The cost is 80. Profit is 20 percentage. So selling price will be 120 percentage. 1.2 times. This is like basics of profit and loss. So this is the total selling price that we get from the first part. Yeah? So... I mean, you can do the calculation if you want, right? 30 into 80 is uh, 2400 into 1.2, which will make it 2880. This is the total selling price in the first part. You're able to follow? 3 into 824, 24 into 1.2. So, yeah, 2880. Now, go for the second part. What, what is selling price in the second part? See, what happens next? He has sold some part of the mixture at 20 percentage profit. Then he adds water and all that drama happens, right? Milk and water becomes equal. Now he has got how much of quantity? 80 liters again. See, again, understand, he has revamped the mixture by adding 30 more liters of water. Right? Don't assume that 30 liters is sold. Remaining is only 50. This is quantity. This is cost price. And this is profit. I mean, if you have to understand the equation. Quantity sold, costing, and the profit. I mean, including the profit. Yeah? So, after 30 liters is sold, does not mean that out of 80, 30 sold, 50 is remaining. 50 is remaining, but he added 30 liters of water again, right? So, he has got his 80 liters back. He has added more water. So, now the quantity is 80 liters which he is selling. The cost price, of course, is 80 liters only. The cost price does not change. Cost price per liter is 80 only. And he sold the resultant mixture at the cost price only. Into one. There is no profit, no loss. I mean, there is zero percentage profit. If the profit is zero percentage, selling price will be equal to cost price. That's the whole idea, right? So instead of multiplying by any factor, I'll just multiply by one. You understand? He sold the remaining quantity. I mean, not the remaining quantity. He has sold the resultant mixture. Resultant mixture is 80 liters again. 80 liters at 80 rupees at the cost price only. So this comes out to be what? 6,000. 18 to 80, 6,400. Now, what is the total selling price? Total selling price of the mixture. I mean, total selling price of the mixture will be what? Uh, 2,880 plus 6,400. That's it. His total costing. So there are only two values that you have to focus on. Let me highlight. The total costing is total costing. Now you can directly work with the total value. Right? Total costing is 6,400. The total selling price is 6,400 plus 2,880. Total cost price is 6,400. And total selling price that he makes out of it is 6,400 plus 2,880. I mean, I'm not simplifying it because anyway, 6,400 and 6,400 gets cancelled. Well, he's asking us to find out the overall profit percentage. Now do the profit percentage calculation. See, how much is the profit? The profit is 2,880 rupees. Out of this total selling price, 6,400 anyway is the cost price, right? The profit is only this, 2,880 rupees. So I think the profit percentage, how do we calculate profit percentage? Profit by cost price. So profit is 2,880 divided by the cost price is 6,400 into 100. 
Do that calculation, you'll get the answer, right? So that's like 288 by 640, right or not? So 288 is like 36 times, right? 8 into 36, 8 into 80. 36 by 80 or 9 by 20. 9 by 20 or yeah, 9 by 20 is like 45 percentage. So I think the answer comes out to be 45 percentage. Yeah, profit comes out to be 45 percentage. The overall profit percentage is 45. So, so if I have to quickly re recap the whole uh, uh, solution here. Initially, we have got 64 liters of pure milk, 16 liters of water. That gives us an 8 liter mixture in which the milk and water ratio is 4 is to 1. From which you have sold X liters. Let us find out out of X liters how much is milk and how much is water. How do you do that? Divide X liters in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So you will get 4X by 5 as milk and X by 5 as water. Now he says after removing or after selling this X liters, he has added X liters of water. And after having done that, the quantity of milk and water becomes equal. Yeah. So now try to equate that. The milk, resultant milk and result water is equal. What is the resultant mil milk from 64 liters? Subtract 4x by 5. What is the resultant water from 16 liters? Subtract x by 5 and add x. Upon sol solving, x comes out to be 30. Yeah. All this is calculation to verify our own theory and which is not needed in the exam. So x comes out to be 30. M means initially 30 liters was sold. After that, 30 liters of water was added. Now, we have assumed that the cost price of mixture is 100 rupees a liter. Cost price of milk is 100 rupees a liter. Remember that the costing is usually because of milk, not because of water. Water always comes free of cost. Yeah, water does not incur any cost. That's how these guys make profit, right? I mean, usually when we solve questions based on these milkmen who add water, they keep topping up the mixture by water and make profit. So we are assuming that 100 rupees per liter is the cost of the milk. Water is free. So the cost of the mixture comes out to be how much? Cost of the mixture will be equal to the cost of the, you know, will be based on the quantity of milk. Since the quantity of milk is 64 liters, the total cost of the mixture will be 64 into 100, 6400, which gives us the per liter cost as 80 rupees because 6400 rupees is the costing on 80 liters. So per liter it is costed him 80 rupees a liter. Yeah. Now out of this mixture of 80 liters, he has sold 30 liters at 20 percentage profit. So 30 into this is the selling price. I mean 18 to 1.2. I mean I'm assuming you have understood that calculation. Comes out to be 2018. Then he added more water and sold the whole quantity at the cost price. So he's got 80 liters now. Sold it at the cost price, which is 80 rupees a liter. Comes out to be 6,400. Yeah. That's it. That gives you the total selling price. You know the total cost price, total selling price. Can you not find out the profit percentage? Yes. It is 45 percentage. So I think the answer to this question should be 45 percentage.